This tale that I'm about to tell is a short but sad story about friendship, loyalty, trust. If you've come here thinking that I'm going to be exposing drug stories about police and things like that, you're going to be sadly disappointed. Because as Blade Brown once said, the realest stories are the ones that I never repeat, never. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You already know who it is. It's your boy Cam. Topical juice. I'm tired. Forgive me, guys. I'm so tired. I fell asleep at like 3 a.m. last night or this morning, and uh, I think I got up at like 6 6:30. So I'm fueled off like minimal sleep right now. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and detail this story as best as possible. Now I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. Before I get into the video, smash the thumbs up button. Please hit the bell if, if you want to be notified for this ugly mug. And hit the subscribe button if you're new, so let's go. Just to give you a bit of context about the story then, guys. These times I'm about 15, 16. So like, I'm still in secondary school, but like, we're coming of age. So we're starting to like, party a bit more. We're starting to like, get involved in the drinking and that. Like, it's not like Americans, for example, where they can't drink until 21. So they start drinking around 18, 19, 20. We drink young. We drink from like 15, like 14, 15, 16 type thing, you know, as early as that, really. We used to kind of like, drink in like a park. You know, just a standard coming of age stuff. I think I used to be on Stella's, but <laughs> I used to be on Stella Artois these days. I remember I'm like a vodka drinker and like rum drinker and I'm a spirit drinker, but these times I'm on like Stella Artois. Do you know what I <laughs> Used to be drinking in the park, like just do beers and that, like and go to house parties. So like we would, like we used to be, we used to like have house parties often on one of my friend's block at the bottom of like, on the bottom of the hill. There's like, he used to live on this estate and like we used to have like house parties or parties inside his crib and that would just spill out, they would kind of like spill out onto like the walkway and the block and stuff and just be mad fun. Uh, that, was only, that was only if his parents weren't there and his, brother, his brothers weren't there because one of his brothers was a lunatic man. So, uh, anyone, that, anyone, that knows, anyone that knows these times are gonna think back to this. These are just fun times man. Anyway, a bit of a subsection of our group started to mature a bit faster than others, shall we say. And a lot of them were starting to go to raves, and that's ne that was never really my scene. Like I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I actually listened to house music until I got to uni. Like more time, uni was when I like started listening to that stuff because I had to really. I had to like fit in with the people that at uni, and house was alright to be fair. You get me? So that's calm. It's actually, these, tell it like these times, it's they, 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 um, people are listening to dubstep and that, like that wah 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 uh, uh, all that yeah that proper loud you know proper loud stuff so that's what it was back then this little subsection of our group kind of branched out and started going into in, into that route shall we say all different demographics like they all just kind of some some people just started going into that route of like raving and like i don't think i got my fake id until about 17 maybe i think i was maybe like my 17th birthday i got my fake id i think these people were using fake ids from like 16 maybe maybe like 15 so they were a bit ahead of the t they were a bit ahead of, ahead of the curve when it came to this raving thing. Anyway, so there was one guy in particular there that I used to be quite good friends with, and I was close to his family. Like he had a nice, he had a decent paying system. You get me? Like <laughs> this one boy in particular. Like we weren't tight, tight, but we were friends. Like we'd been to house parties together, we went to the same school. Like we had, it was, we had good history, it was good vibes. You get me? We always used to just we were just part of the same group, but he was kind of part of the subsection that partied or was raving and that. And I wasn't like I say, it wasn't my scene. Anyway. He used to he used to really go in on this. Like he used to be like a he used to be one of them ones that a bit of a he was like an early nitty on the Mandy or like MDMA or whatever ecstasy on Coke from young and like he was just doing this stuff. You know, some people were just ahead of the time, they were just trying all this stuff and like I said it wasn't really my thing in it. So I get a text out of the blue. Let's call him Master B. That's 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 the uh, as his as his synonym or anonym or and and what do you call it? So that's not even the right word. What's the thing where it's like that's your oh, oh god damn it. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. That's your that's his thing. That's his Oh it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, so Master B, right? I get a text from Master B saying I need a favour badly. And this is like 10 years ago, and I'm like, I told like 10, like 9, 10 years ago, I'm like, uh like cool so what's the problem and he goes bro my mum and dad have found all the drugs that were in the yard and i'm thinking okay <laughs> so as in like where are we going with this as in cool story i mean sad news and all of that but what's this got to do with jeezy what's this got to do with cab like sorry to hear that big man <laughs> 
So he's like, yeah, so he goes, yeah, my, my mum and dad found all the drugs in, in my yard. So I'm like, oh shit. So I send him a text like, oh shit, like, bro, I'm sorry. But I'm obviously waiting for the, I'm seeing where he's going with this like, type thing. So these times he's already been caught before. So he'd already got caught with drugs on his person before. He couldn't get caught again without suffering serious consequences. So you can, we can tell where the story's going with this, you get me? So he goes, he literally goes to me, bro, can, you, can, I, can I tell my mom it's yours? Can I tell, can I tell my mom that you, gave, that you gave them to me to hold? Can I, I, I can't get in trouble again, bro, please. And it, actually, now I'm, now I'm reflecting on this story. It's actually mad that he came to me for this. Like, I've actually been riding out for my friends for a long time, you know. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I actually, he actually came to me because he trusts me like that. Uh, it's, it's nice, it's nice, but maybe I'm, maybe I was too nice. Anyway, so obviously I'm a little bit hesitant now because I actually have a good relationship with his family. Like, I'm, I was, I, I used to pride myself on like building good relationship with people's parents because I, I used to put, turn on the charm and that little, little one-two wink, little smile and that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, actually, these times I was ugly. So what am I talking about? But um, like. I used to always want to be good with parents. So like, I, I didn't really want to be like, I wanted to portray like a good image to other people because at least if I had the parents on side, they wouldn't know what I could have been up to, do you know what I'm saying? So like, I was a bit hesitant, but like a friend, I literally said, like, go on then, fine. I tell him the drugs was mine. He had Coke on him, he had MD on him. And I just said, yeah, to, like, I'll hold that for you, bro. You, you got me, I'll, I'll say that, I'll say that's mine and, uh, and relinquish the, the, the pressure from you. It goes a bit quiet now. I don't get a text for a good 15, 20 minutes. About half an hour goes by and I'm thinking, what's happening? What's happening? Am I, am I banished from this household now or what go on? Like, what's the pattern? Tell me why I get a call now from Grandmaster B himself. I'm thinking, this ain't right. What's, what I got? Like, what's, what's going on? So I'm thinking, all right, let's, let's get an update. And I picks up the phone now. And I'm like, yo. And he goes, hello. And I could tell from the jump here, something ain't right here. I'm thinking, like, what's going on? What's going on? I said, I, what did I say after that? I, I, I go, um, I go, um, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I go, um, are you good? Are you, like, are you all right? And he goes, he goes, bro, I'm really, really sorry, but my mum found all the drugs that you gave me. He was like, all the, all the drugs that you told me to, to hold for you, ah, bro, my mum found them. And I'm thinking, what's that? As in, I'm thinking, hang about, like, why is he talking like this? Obviously, it didn't take me long to realise. I'm sitting on the other end of the phone now, like, uh, like as in obviously my mind is working at 100 miles an hour right now so this is all within like one this is all this I was thinking within like one second but like I was like I'm thinking to myself what's happening here obviously I've clocked this small this guy yeah <laughs> this hit me like a ton of bricks his mom is on the other side of the phone his mom he has called me unprovoked yeah with his mom Listening in on the other side of the phone, I just dogged man in it. Like he literally goes like, "Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, the drugs that you gave me. Uh, um, yeah, she found them, bro. I'm sorry." Like, uh, and I'm thinking, "You little pagan!" Like, as in you didn't, you, you couldn't pre-warn me that man I had to put the Oscar, bro. The way, obviously, as soon as I clocked, I was like, "Oh my god!" I had to, I had to pattern it the best way possible because I, I was like, "Okay, if she's on the phone, yeah, I need to." look as good as possible. So I was like, oh my God, bro, I'm so, so sorry. Please tell your parents it was mine. P like, oh, wait, wait, no, no, yeah, like, please tell the, please tell the parents the truth that like, it was mine. Like, I gave it to you, this, that, and the other. Like, oh, please, please, like, I hope your parents aren't mad at me, but I hope your parents don't, like, judge me. Like, I'm t tell them I'm sorry, like, this, that, and the other, you get me? <laughs> anyway, he's like, oh yeah, bro, don't worry. Like, I'll, I'll pattern it, basically. I'll sort it for you, I'll sort it for you. And, and then he hung up the phone. And I was just thinking, brother, if I ain't winning an Emmy, Oscar, BAFTA, 
award after this, like, and a, and a flipping loyalty, a friend loyalty award for this year. So I've actually done so many mad things. A lot, of, like I said at the start of the video, a lot of stories I'm actually not going to tell on YouTube because that wouldn't be appropriate. Now I've got good brand brand image to adhere to, but I get a text then saying like, ah, oh, it, like, it works. She believed me. Like, ah, oh, thank you, bro. This, that, and the other. And the sad truth, and the sad thing is, after all this story, not long after that, we never we stopped talking. Because when we, went, when we went to separate schools, I went to a separate sixth form uh, as a lot of my friends did. So we went different paths completely. So actually it kind of worked out all right because I never really saw his family that much after that, even though they were kind of nice. But if you, wanted, if you want to update on where my man ended up, obviously it's been nine, 10 years. His story ended quite tragically, to be honest. When I was finding out about his life as I got a bit older, you know, when I was hearing these times, like when I'm hearing that, like hearing about what happened to my man like, after, you know, during uni times and blah, 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 blah. He got addicted to certain substances. He ended up uh, um, getting into madnesses with some people in the ends and they actually ran up in his yard, like violated him and in, in, a, in a bad way, man, in a very bad way, in a, in a, in a way that I can never repeat on camera, on social media. Um, and now he he's moved out the ends, so it's crazy, man. I can't lie. Some of these stories, I've actually got there's a story. I've actually got a story of like one of my one guy I knew had to flee the country for like three years. Yeah, it's bear stories. And these actually this is just bringing back hella memories. So maybe I maybe I will tell some of these, maybe I will tell some of these stories. Actually, uh, either way, that was the that was the first story of the day. Like I said, a story of friendship, a story of loyalty. But it's a sad story nonetheless because his the, his outcome his outcome was not was no good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed a little snippet into into my life, <laughs> and um, yeah, I will see you soon. <laughs>